How good is the Quasar Canyon? All right, a single Quasar Canyon shot plus. That's nuts. For Bile Titans, I have to wait for it to do that to get some distance. I assume it's two shots at least. That's one pretty, pretty dead on face shot there, brother. And you do have enough time between two spits to charge and shoot safely. And that's pretty easy. The Quasar Motor Canyon can actually one shot a charger. You just got to make sure you land it correctly. You can land it on the arm, doesn't one shot. You land it on the freaking neck joint, doesn't one shot. Has to be the dome. There's the Hulk. A single shot to the face. I missed. That thing evaporated. <laughs> can you one shot a Hulk? Aiming straight. You can. Dude, that is, that's a tough shot then. If I shoot the battery. How many shots? More than one. One, two. That's not bad. It eventually dies. Like it, it, I assume it bleeds out, kind of like a charger. To one shot a Hulk, you charge your shot. I, I, mean, I meant to crouch. I meant to crouch. I don't think you're supposed to be dolphin diving in. If you're moving sideways, that's the sway. If you're crouched, it's way more manageable. That's how you get that shot. Shield and shield versus Quasar Cannon. It knocked him back and it did damage to his backpack as well. Plays all cannon vs tank. It takes two shots at least. Maybe a side shot. So, on front plus a side shot for sure. Oh my god! I tried to help you, I really did. Okay. Okay. Wait, you could... Wait, 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 I have an idea. You could cycle Quasar Cannons. And then I just talk to this one, and my charge is almost up. It's like a few seconds off. When you're waiting for that evac, you got two Quasars. Two, two Quaso Cannons. Bile Spewers get one shot. Most of the time. I've, I've had cases where they don't die in one shot and it's basically a full on headshot. But usually it's one tap. See right there, I shot on the side of the face. It did not die. If it can kill a Bile Spear, you should have an easier time killing a Nursing Spear. And the same issue. If you, if you don't shoot it in the face, it doesn't die. All Devastators get one shot if you shoot them in the torso area or the face. Shoot them to the side will not kill them. It'll weaken them though. And in some cases, remove their armor and stuff. All right, something you could do is charge up your Quasar and then stand up before it fires. Same with the Railgun. Any, any charge gun that requires that. An example of the arm thing is that right there. Shield has got aim for the face. Or at least top left. It's wise to use the shots on these guys. A Scorcher just takes way too much ammo to kill them. You can just shoot your shot, stow it away. I'm gonna tell you shoot again, it's probably back up. Right now. Boom. Alright, what if I with like a top shot? Towards the back. Same conclusion. Ground shot, thoughts? I think it killed two. They were holding hands, but it still killed two. They see me creeping with the stylus. Gotta disengage from all enemies. Back it up. Charge. Get prepared, man. All right, Marauders can get one shot guaranteed. So can you, if you're too close. I had a feeling you would never need to do this. At least I hope not. But you can kill a Strider with one shot. You can kill Hive Guards in one shot too. I figured I may as well just say you can. And it makes sense to do it when you have nothing else chasing you. For those smaller dudes. Or if they're kind of far away. It actually just evaporates them. They don't there's no head removal. That thing just died instantly. Heavy north. Close. Air support. I'm out. Got him. With a two tap. Oh, I can almost fire again. Oh, 
That was so close. Being super, super cool. That was a hey, bro. I'm like the freaking anti tank warlord. Anti tank wizard. Double Queso Cannon is essentially like having a recoilless rifle and your teammate reload your backpack for you, except you're just one person. That's how often you can fire. That is absolutely insane. Sure, you have to wait for the cooldown or have a teammate toss you one, but still. That's some very neat utility on maybe just the extracts on most maps. But on some maps, you, know, you never know, man. It could be kind of cool. Shrakira Hotels. I imagine it one shot, though. We wait patiently. I do believe the recoilless reloads faster than this, but not by too much. Two shots. Same for the eat, recoilless. And now the Quasimodo Cannon. Illegal Broadcast Tower. This thing is dead nuts accurate. Oh my goodness. There's virtually zero drop. Spore Spewer. One shot. Orange and blue crates. As expected. Imagine if it couldn't. Double super creds. Oh, uh, no 100 stack though. I almost got super lucky from ground level, aiming at the very bottom of the vent. That's kind of nuts. I expected you have to have some kind of verticality to blow those up, but I guess not. If the door's open, nothing happens. Sure, they can break these ships. I got freaking. This thing's nuts. Quasar Cannon feels insane. Big fan. It'd be crazy if you could kill the ISR on. I hit it. Ace still standing. I can kind of see it. One shot the mortar. There it is. I'm gonna shoot the barrel. That works as well. Because sometimes the base is kind of hidden a little bit, but the barrel's exposed. Now, this is the crazy part. From that distance, that is insanity. Anti-air emplacement. That's nuts. These bunkers are insane. It should take one shot for a bunker turret. Yeah, there. For those wondering, you cannot feather charge. As in, charge a shot and then cancel it here and there until you get like a good moment. It makes you restart the entire charge duration the moment you cancel it for any reason. So how good is Last 99 Quasar Cannon? It's basically the new go-to anti-tank, and there's no questions to be asked here. It has infinite ammo, no need to reload it, you don't have a backpack wasted because there is no backpack with it, and it has virtually zero projectile drop. The only things you have to take into account are the wind-up time to shoot your shot, and then the wind-down time to charge your next shot. That adds up for sure, but the main purpose of the weapon is handling the bigger mobs. It can be used for anything you want, but it's mostly there to handle the hulks, the tanks, the chargers, the battle titans, and other stuff that otherwise can be a nuisance. So, in a team aspect, it goes unbelievably crazy. Solo, still crazy good as well, because you can do other things to make up for what you're lacking. Run a guard dog rover, it can beam the critters while you handle the bigger dudes, and then use your stratagems as well. You can build for it, is what I'm trying to say. It's fantastic versus the robots. You can kill everything you need to kill. It has crazy utility as well. It's insane versus the bugs also. I'd say it's better versus the bugs from an anti-tank standpoint, considering the chargers are facing towards you. They get one shot to the face. Bile Titans facing towards you. They get two shots to the face. Tanks take three shots if you're hitting the front plate. And the hulks can be one shot. It's just way more effort than when shooting chargers. And the Hulks can shoot you back. So that's just something to keep in mind. But it's great versus both factions. I just want to throw some opinions out there. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, a like and a comment goes a long way. Helps me out a ton. I'd appreciate that. And uh, have a good day. Please. That's two shots. That's three. I have the weirdest loadout known to any gamer right now. I got freaking Quasar. Shield backpack, supply pack, expendable anti-tank. This map is scattered in my level on Creek. This mission is a nightmare. That guy's being chased. I'd help you, but I can't. He 360'd on you. 
This is a nightmare. There's just red eyes in the friggin- This is- This is crazy in Malevolent Creek. All you see is mist. Rockets gliding through the mist. He's killed 12 people with that mortar. 13, including me. That was pretty cool. 